that introduction, Dr. Ahmad, and uh, it's really wonderful. What really struck me while I was waiting in the back was when Dr. King was on the screen, and then Dr. Ahmad just introduced all these incredible doctors who look like me, who Dr. King said, you know, he was marching to open those type of doors. He was marching for the right for us to vote. And as we see the example of his work, is really right in front of us. And so I'm so happy his dream, when we think about Black History Month and, and mercy, also having their eyes open to say, hey, these are incredible, talented doctors, and they should be on our staff. And so we should be a Mercy Hospital hand as well. <laughs> and so that's what this is about. You know, celebrating not only these incredible doctors, but also all of you who have carved out or will carve out your own history and your own black history. And you're going to do it in your own way, in your own special way. Now, God bless me in a way that I could do it in my own way. But when you think about what has happened, the most powerful man in the world, if it wasn't for Dr. King being a trailblazer, not only did President Obama get one term, mm -hmm. and he was blessed to get two yeah. terms. Yeah. So, that's what all that marching and him giving up his life yes. was for and about. And then you think about opening doors for a person like Oprah who took advantage right, of the platform that she was blessed with. And now, because of her success, right, worldwide, not, not just here in North America, but worldwide, now Queen Latifah has a daytime show. That would have never happened without Oprah's success. Then, you look up Steve Harvey. Mm -hmm. Shoot, Steve Harvey got a morning show, a <laughs> afternoon show. And I think he was born to do Family Feud. Yeah. Just do this. But that's what black history is about. Carving out, Steve Harvey's carving out his history. And it's really beautiful to see the Williams sisters in tennis carving out their history. Tiger carving out the history. Then I met, man, my main man was here who helped me to become the triple double man. That was Oscar Robinson. He was in the yeah. back with me. Yeah. Man, it was for Oscar. Because he was my trailblazer. Mm -hmm. See, teaching me how to play the game the right way. Teach me how to be a leader and include my teammates. <laughs> oh, there you go, showtime. You know? <laughs> so, what I tried to do was carve out my own history whether it was on the basketball court or now in the business world, in the business arena. And how does that affect our community? Well, the first one was, I'm going to take sale, and we got a lot of nice young basketball players. So I'm going to stay on this side right now. The reason I was successful is because I was disciplined enough and 
also, I sacrifice things. Now, this girl right here, this girl, are you going to do that? See, are you going to sacrifice the video games? Come on. Mm. Come on. <laughs> Hanging out with your friends, are you going to sacrifice doing that to be the best player that you can be? Are you going to stay disciplined enough to be out there because you know what your weaknesses are and work on the weakness and turn it into a strength? Stand on up, young man. So are you going to do that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, I know I'm getting old. <laughs> What's your name? Cray Fa. Cray Fa? All right. What grade are you? Eleven. See, I want you to be a great basketball player, but I want you to be a great student, too. Can you do that? Because I hope God bless this whole row and this one, too, of what you want to be. But in case that blessing doesn't come to pass, you got to say, man, I'm going to lean on my education. Because, okay, one door closed, another one will what? That's right. So that's very important for all of these young men and women that you concentrate on your education. Because everybody in here that's young, that's going to be your way out. That's going to be your ticket to take care of yourself and your family, not the ball. See? It's cool if you make it, but you still gonna need the education to know what to do with the money in case you get blessed. Right? Turn around, turn around. Get your phone bill, young man. Get your cell phone, because I saw you messing with it. Give it to him. Yeah. You're gonna send it out. Come on. Boy, Hooper, you kind of slow now. You got to have the no look to match it. Come on. There we go. I'm going to take the picture, man. <laughs> if you're going to be great at something, you got to give things up. Yes, sir. And then young people over there, don't let anybody say you can't do it. Because a lot of times, they told me, no way you can go from Lansing, Michigan and play in the NBA. No way you can be 6'9 and play point guard. Oh, man, did that fuel me. I love when they say I can't do something. So then I just go to work to prove to myself that I can do it, but also to prove them wrong. And that's the true blessing right there. So make sure you apply yourself. And then whatever your job is, what, what, I, I, I'm not even talking about a regular job for these young people. I'm talking about what, whatever you're supposed to do at home, one of your chores, one of your responsibilities. Be the best at it. If your mom and dad said you got to take out the trash every week, be the best person to take out the trash they've ever seen. Right? Right? I remember it was really cold in Michigan, about five below Jim. I got Jim and, and Michael here somewhere. Where are they at? Oh, there he is. See, the big boss is here. And you know you guys are kind of cool when the big boss show up. And then Jim is a, a big Kirk Rambis, had a jersey. Where is he at? Where, I got to tease him. Where is he at? The last time he, he had the Kirk Rambis thing going. But anyway. My dad and I had, he had a trash hauling service. And so we used to go pick up people's trash. And so my job was to get all the loose trash around the barrels. His job was to take the barrels and dump the trash. So it was so cold that I said, mm, I'll happily do it. I grab something, throw it in, and then get back to the cabin because it was too cold. By the time I closed it,